Well, Hannah Graham's disappearance has sparked new discussions about crimes on and near college campuses. According to a CDC study, one in five college women will be sexually assaulted while in school. Kimberly Suters shows us how some new devices are trying to change that statistic. So he was at school. <laughs> Yay. Tracking her teenage son around town and her daughter at Penn State through their cell phones gives Hillary Tattersall peace of mind. Especially with all the events happening at, at UVA in Charlottesville. Um, it's just, I mean, it's all moms are talking about. Among the gifts and trinkets Tattersall sells for fun, a safety whistle she sells to save lives. Hashtag never alone and sort of that's the concept. I mean, these gals should not be alone. Proceeds will pay for community self-defense classes. Self-defense lessons, there's free ones at George Mason, which are very helpful, and they always offer them, and they always have cadets that can just drive us around, even if it's like two blocks, to always call them no matter what. Lizzie Arias is a senior at George Mason University, host to a campus-wide sexual assault awareness event next week. Here on the campus of George Mason University, the school just launched a safety app for students called Mason Watch. It connects students directly with police. Most of these apps are basically GPS tracking. This one allows you to set off alarm belts to a network of friends. <laughs> But even with a growing number of apps designed to protect students, we did not find any who use them yet. I have heard of them with like all the news about the Hannah Graham situation. Just knowing that you have an app keeps you a little more aware of the situation around you. Why haven't you downloaded one yet? That's a great question. But a low tech, easy to grab whistle, <laughs> they will use. In Fairfax County, Kimberly Suters, News Channel 8.